Carrot's been doing memories for a little while, very simple ones, and I'm just expanding on them now. And in this case, I'm adding in an obstruction which she's got to sort out um, on the way back to pick the dummy. Now, when I put it out, it's a straightforward memory, but I've already hidden a blind out in roughly the same place. So when she's done it, she's going back to the same spot for a blind. And that's how I start on blind work with my dogs. Always put them out after a scene retrieve, whether it's a straightforward one or whether it's a memory. Will you behave? Come on here. Okay, carrot heel. Sit. Hey. Let her take in where it's gone. Heel. Carrot. Back and fetch. Good girl, carrot, very good. Carrot, come. Come, good girl. Heel, sit. Sit. Carrot, back and fetch. Good, come. Very good, dead. Sit. Very good. Well, you could see that the fence wasn't something she was proficient at and she did just delay coming back, but it's quite nice to add in a complication, make it more interesting for the dog. All the time be trying to vary things. Okay, well I've got Jersey here to do a memory retrieve. Um, just make them always as interesting as you can. We've got a little fence that we jumped with carrot. Here there's quite a deep ditch. If ever you're trying to get a dog to go over an obstruction, always give it a scene first and then give it its blind. Don't find a big obstruction and give it a blind retrieve straight away because you might well find it just runs up and down the bank of the obstruction and doesn't freely go through. You want them to take a line and go through or over whatever is in the way in that straight line. So Jersey, heel, heel. Jersey, come. Come on, heel. And sit. Sit. Brrr. Sit. Mark. Heel. Sit. Go back. is a deep ditch. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Heel. She's more interested in eating grass, I think, than working. Back and fetch.
said, good girl, good girl. <laughs>